Okay, in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at some of our more advanced features, like our game analysis and reporting. So, I'm logged into an account here, and we're in the watch area. This is where we can watch video instantly in the browser. And right now, I'm on a uh, New Orleans, Utah game. And you'll notice that down here in the bottom grid, I've got a number of data points here. Now what does this all mean? So in this grid, I've got columns of information. Okay, and these columns have a set of data assigned to those. For example, we've got a team with ball category that tells you who has the football. So in this case, it would be either New Orleans or Utah. I've got an ODK column that tells me whether this is a kicking play, an offense-defensive play. I've got a quarter column telling me whether it's first, second, third, or fourth quarter. I've got a down column, first, second, third, fourth down. I've got a distance column. I've got some columns associated with the distance that tells me a, a distant zone, roughly, whether it's long, medium, or short. I've got some field zones that tells me where in the field these plays are happening. Uh, we've got a gain, tells you how big of a, a yardage gain you've had on a particular play. You've got play types, and this tells you what kind of play this is. Pass, run, a PAT, field goal, kickoff, punt, no play. You've got some results, and these results will show you, you can tag whether stuff was incomplete, complete, touchdown, fumbles, uh, interceptions, made, miss, sacks, safeties, penalties. Um, and so this is the set of our basic data. Okay, so from here, what can be done is, as you've gone through and you've tagged the information, okay, you're creating, you're indexing points in this game that allow you to pull those situations up and refer to them instantly. So if you're in front of your kids or your coaches or whatever and you're doing film study, rather than have to rewind and fast forward, you can instantly pull up any situation that you want, whether it's over this last game or whether it was over a multi-game spread um, to pull up that situation. So let's do that. Let's actually, let's filter for all, let's pull up all Utah games here. And I'm going to pull up these last, we'll do these last four games here. And I'm going to go to my column headers here and I want to filter for all Utah and I'm going to do pass plays and let's do all the pass plays in the red zone so we'll go to my field column and we'll do the red zone so now you'll notice I can play the video and now I've got all of Utah's pass plays in the red zone instantly right there so for the last four games I instantly pulled up all of these red zone situations that saved me time I didn't have to go back and forth pull DVDs out put them back in um, and search for those situations. I was able to pull them up instantly um, and you, because you've got all these different data sets here you can pull up a whole host of different things whether it's you know things on on by down I can pull up first down, second down situations. I can pull up things maybe on short yardage situations. I can pull up things in other field zones. I can pull up maybe uh, passes that were touchdowns or passes that were completed. You name it, you can pretty much do it uh, with this data set that's here. So there's two ways that this data that you see here can be completed. The first way is you can do it yourself. So of course you can enter this stuff in yourself and all of these uh, cells here are editable so you can click into them and change the information and tag this as you've gone through and you've watched the game. Okay. Um, the second way is we can actually do this for you. So in a league-wide situation where an entire league is using us for game exchange and all the video is being uploaded, we'll actually go in the following morning and we'll log every single game that was played that night before with all this data here. So this is what this gives you. So let's say you're going into week six and you're playing your next opponent. So for example, let's say Utah is going into their next week here and they're playing uh, Arizona. 
they're going to have all previous. So let's do that. Let's pull up all Arizona games here. And I see I've got all Arizona games here listed. So I can pull up all these Arizona games. And I've got data already done for all of these games. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games with data already done on all of these eight games. All this basic data. So the amount of time that you just saved yourself from having to break this stuff down by hand, because many of you who break this stuff down manually by hand, you might spend a couple hours just breaking down one game, looking for situations, looking for tendencies, looking for things that are happening on certain downs, distances, what kind of plays are happening, what the results were. Um, so if you're spending one, two, three hours breaking down one game, using our service where we break the video down for you, I now can go in and look at any situation I want, and I could have a game plan ready in a matter of minutes, um, under an hour, and I've evaluated six, seven, eight games here, where if I did this myself manually, you're going to be send, spending an entire weekend doing this yourself. Uh, so the amount of time you're saving, the amount of information you're going to get back out of this, and the amount of value that you're getting is really quite unheard of, uh, and you're not going to find that anywhere else. Um, so now from here, uh, let's say you want to take it a step further. Okay, so let's say you want to do more than just this basic data that's listed here. Okay, you can do that. For those who want to take it a step further, you can. Okay, so I can actually add columns for my own formations, my own coverages, my own play calls. You name it, you can add it. And that extra data that you're going to add is private, so nobody else in the league can see it. And you can do that by going up to your custom tags up here, and then I can add and define what those tags are. So I could go to, if I wanted to add a formation tag, I could go and add it. And this is what it looks like once I've added information here. Maybe you've added um, however you want to define it, whether it's like this where I've defined them as 2 by one three by zero, two by twos, or you want to define it as the actual names of your formations, whether it's, you know, Rip Liz, Ron Week, uh, Liz Week, Rip Strong, Ron Strong, whatever you want to add, you can do that. Um, and define all the variables that you want to have and then tag later. Um, so then what that allows you to do is if, as you've gone through a game and you've tagged maybe formations and coverages, you can now pull up um, all the different formations to see what kind of coverages you're going to expect in certain situations. So now again, rather than having to break down a game and look at it by hand, rewind, fast forward, use your notebook, I can instantly pull up Let's do that. I can instantly pull up. Let's do all Arizona with the ball. And maybe I want to see all their pass plays. And maybe I want to see a situation where we're... I want to see everything on first and second down. And then maybe I want to start to evaluate what kinds of coverages are happening in first and second down. Um, with Arizona on offense. Okay, and again, this is over a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9 game spread here of me instantly being able to look at situations and extract information um, in a matter of minutes. Okay, now from here, we can take it even a step further. So you've got a bulk of the of the the stuff here that you need you've got your video you've got all the the situations you want to be able to look at show your coaches show your players and evaluate now maybe you want to take it a step further and evaluate the statistics behind the video how many runs are happening how many passes are going on here so we can do that by let's go ahead and pull up I'm gonna clear my down filter here and I want to pull up just a a run pass filter for Arizona. So now let's say I want to evaluate what's going on with Arizona here. So for all these games I've got checked, I can now go to my reports window and pull up a statistical report that's going to show me the numbers. So let's let's look at a 
basic play type report that shows me, okay, Arizona had 271 passes and 48 runs. Well, that's the Arena Football League for you. They, it's a pass-happy league. Maybe I want to look at something more specific. So let's look at here's a, a run-pass uh, comparison on downs versus the field. So this shows you they've got 36 passes on first down inside the red zone. Okay, or they've got 16 runs on first down inside the red zone. Maybe I want to look at something. Maybe I want to see the, result, or the, the results of these plays. So this shows me how many completions they've got in the red zone, in the field zones, backed up. Um, I can see how many yards they've gained. So they, over these last number of games, they've got 2,100 yards passing, 130 yards rushing. So we've got all sorts of predefined uh, reports here that you can use. Now, if you want to get more specific, you can create your own. So you can actually create and build your own reports because you might want to you might want to compare and see how many uh, types of coverages you're going to seek in certain formations. So if you want to build a, a report that shows you, all right, here's how many times I'm going to see cover one or cover three or cover two against these specific formations. You can then build that report here that shows you the numbers how many times you're going to expect it, and then maybe in which situations you're going to see that in. Okay, And these reports can be saved, and they can also be printed out if you want to print them to a scatter report. Um, you've got a whole bunch of options of what you want to do with those. So again, now already, um, over a whole bunch of games here, uh, for me to put together my game plan, um, I can easily pull out tendencies. I can easily see what Arizona's tendencies are, what they're doing in certain situations. I can see the numbers behind what they're doing. They easily give me the ability to put together a game plan um, really fast, really easy, so I don't have to spend all day. I don't have to spend all weekend. So now you guys can take your weekends back, spend more time with your family, with your kids, and be able to get other stuff done. So that's a, a pretty good look at um, our game analysis features and also the game analysis service that we do of breaking stuff down for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, uh, alex at vidswap.com.